us pray together. O God of our hearts, you yearn to be so close to us that we can know you in every breath, in every hope, in every relationship. Meet us here today and teach us to recognize the covenant of justice, peace, and love you have written on our hearts. So may our desires be in accordance to your desires, our work be the same as your work, and our community, the place where you are sought and found. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Ating pong basahin ang Philippians chapter 2 verses 5 to 11. Naway magkaroon kayo ng kaisipan na tulad ng kay Kristo Jesus. Kahit taglay niya ang kalikasan ng Diyos, hindi niya ipinagpilitang manatiling kapantay ng Diyos. Sa halip, kusa niyang binitawan ang pagiging kapantay ng Diyos at namuhay na isang alipin. Ipinanganak siyang bilang tao at nang siya'y maging tao, nagpakumbaba siya at naging masunurin hanggang kamatayan. Maging ito man ay kamatayan sa krus. Dahil dito, siya'y lubusang itineas ng Diyos at binigyan ng pangalang hikit sa lahat ng pangalan. Sa gayon, sa pangalan ni Jesus, ay luluhot at magpupuri ang lahat ng nasa langit, nasa lupa, at nasa ilalim ng lupa. At ang lahat ay magpapahayag na si Yesu Kristo ay Panginoon sa ikaluluwalhati ng Diyos Ama. Amen.
Mark chapter 11, verses 1 to 11. Jesus' Triumphant Entry As Jesus and His disciples approached Jerusalem, they came to the towns of Bethphage and Bethany on the Mount of Olives. Jesus sent two of them on hand. Go into that village over there, He told them. As soon as you enter it, you will see a young donkey tied there that no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks, what are you doing? Just say, the Lord needs it and will return it soon. The two disciples left and found the colt standing in the street, tied outside the front door. As they were untying it, some bystanders demanded, What are you doing untying that colt? They said what Jesus has told them to say, and they were permitted to take it. Then they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their garments over it, and he sat on it. Many in the crowd spread their garments on the road ahead of him. Others spread leafy branches they had caught in the fields. Jesus was in the center of the procession, and the people all around him were shouting, Praise God! Blessings on the one who comes in the name of the Lord! Blessings on the coming kingdom of our ancestor David! Praise God in the highest heaven! So Jesus came to Jerusalem and went into the temple. After looking around carefully at everything, he left because it was late in the afternoon. Then he returned to Bethany with the twelve disciples. This is the word of the Lord for the people of God. Amen.
Today is known in the Christian calendar year as Palm Sunday. Mark chapter 11, verse 1 to verse 11, is a narrative of this great event. The emphasis is the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ that involves His knowledge and willingness to offer His life for our sake. It is the prelude to His death on the cross on that faithful Holy Week. It is a preparation for the fulfillment of His mission, His destiny as God incarnate in His human life that He embraced. Mark chapter 14, verse 1 to 15, tells us of his encounter with the unnamed woman who anointed him in Bethany, the negotiation made by Judas to betray him, and his preparation for the feast of the Passover, which actually became the institution of the Lord's Supper. Let us pray. Lord God, our loving Heavenly Father, may your Holy Spirit anoint us in this moment of worship so that we can give you our highest praise and we can worship you with all our hearts and with all our minds. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. You always have the poor with you. So Mark chapter 14, verse 3 to 9, Naging panauhin ang ating Panginoong Yesus sa bahay ni Simon. Habang sila ay kumakain, isang babae ang nagbuhos ng mamahaling pabango sa ulo ng Panginoong Hesus. Nagalit ang ilan sa mga nakasaksi nito dahil napakasayang daw at dinalang ibinenta sa tatlong daang dinaryo nakatapat na ng sweldo ng tatlong daang araw upang ibigay sa mga mahihirap. Sinabi ng Panginoong Hesus na ginawa ng babaeng ito ang paghahanda para sa paglilibing sa Kanya. Dito pa lang ay pinapaalam na ng Panginoong Yesus ang Kanyang pamatayan. This woman has one unique distinction in the Gospel story. She was the only one recorded to have anointed the Lord Jesus Christ before His death. Anointing is a prophetic act and the action of this woman is truly prophetic. She anointed the Lord Jesus Christ with precious, expensive perfume. The equivalent of 300 days of wages would be such a big fortune. But the Lord Jesus Christ is worth more than all the fortunes of this world. The church today must continue to be willing to break treasure, ch treasure chests and alabaster jars of expensive fortunes to express our passion to what is most important for our Lord Jesus Christ, the salvation of the world. Finally, the Lord Jesus Christ, again intima intimating His impending death, reminded us that the poor are always with us, while He would not always be physically present with His disciples. God is telling us to engage in ministries with the poor. They are with us now. Maging tapat po sana tayo sa ating pagtalinga, pagpapatotoo ng ating pananampalataya sa ating Panginoong Yesus na ating tagapagligtas at paglilingkod sa mga mahihirap. Secondly, our Gospel text reminds us to prepare. Prepare for us. Sa Mark chapter 14, verse 10 to verse 11, nakipag-ugnay si Judas sa mga otoridad upang siya ay mabayaran kapalit ng kanyang pagkakanulo sa ating Panginoong Jesus. Sa Mark chapter 14, verse 12 to 15, nagbigay ng instructions ang Panginoong Jesus kung papano sila magkakaroon ng silid upang ipagdiwang ang Passover feast. Isang lalaki ang sinundan nila hanggat ang may-ari ng bahay na nagpahanda ng malaking silid na meron ng mga kagamitan ang nagsabi at, at dinala sila sa silid na hinanda para sa kanila. Doon kayo maghanda para sa atin, sabi ng Panginoon sa kanyang mga alagad. 
prepare for us. Mga kapatid, ano ang paghahanda na ginawa natin upang makasama natin ang ating Panginoong Yesus sa ating buhay? Saan tayo sinusubo upang pumunta tayo? Ano ang gagawin natin doon? Pa 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 paano ang ating paghahanda? Ano ang ating ihahanda? Nagsakripisyo ang Panginoong Yesus para sa atin. Kaya din ba nating magsakripisyo para sa Kanya? May the Holy Spirit of God help us to offer the biggest room in our life for our Lord Jesus Christ. As we journey in faith, let us always listen to the details of His instruction when He says, Prepare for us. Finally, the Lord Jesus Christ told His disciples in Mark chapter 11, verse 3, that when people ask why his disciples were untying the cult, the response should be, the Lord has need of it. The Lord needs it. Kailangan ito ng Panginoon. Nagtaroon ng bahagi ang batang asno na sinakyan ng Panginoong Yesus sa kanyang matagumpay at maluwalhating pagpasok sa Jerusalem. Nagsigawan ang mga taong sumalugong sa kanya sa daan. Purihin ng Diyos, pinagpala ang dumating sa pangalan ng Panginoon. Tulad ng naghanda ng silid, kung saan naghapunan ang ating Panginoong Yesus, kasama ang kanyang mga alagad. Ibinigay din ng mga nangangasiwa sa batang asno ang kailangan ng ating Panginoong Yesus. The Lord needs it. Hindi po nangangailangan ng abuloy ang Panginoong Yesus sa atin. Ngunit kailangan na patunayan natin ang ating katapatan sa Kanya, ang ating pagsunod sa Kanya, ang ating pagbibigay puri sa Kanya bilang ating Panginoon at tagapagligtas. Kailangan natin ihandog ang ating buhay upang ang Kanyang simbahan sa mundo ang kapatiran ng mga mananampalataya ay patuloy na mabunga at masigasig sa misyon na pinagkatiwala niya sa atin. What does the Lord need for us to do? Magfasting ng 40 days? Manalangin ng taimtim? Magbigay ng pagkain sa mga walang makain? Tumulong sa mga mahihirap? May sakit? At mga bilanggo? Maging tapat sa ating pamilya ng mga asawa ay tapat sa kanilang mga asawa at ang mga magulang ay ginagawa ang kanilang mga tungkulin sa kanilang mga anak. Maging masipag at mabunga sa pagpapahayag ng ating pananampalataya sa ating Panginoong Yesus na ating tagapagligtas. Friends, as we celebrate Passion and Palm Sunday, let us give our best for our Lord Jesus Christ while remembering the poor among us. Let us prepare the biggest room for our Lord Jesus Christ while giving rooms to those who need sacred space and safe sanctuary in their lives. And let us ask what the Lord needs us to do, especially as we prove our love for God and neighbor. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Tayo po'y manalangin. Panginoon naman naming Diyos, marami pong salamat sa mensahe ng Palm Sunday at Passion Sunday. Maraming salamat po at ipinaalala mo sa amin ang aming responsibilidad na palaging naghahanda, na palaging iniisip ang kapakanan ng mga may hirap, ang lahat ng mga inaapit, mga kapuspalad, ang mga nawawalan ng pag-asa sa mundo, ang mga may sakit, ang mga walang nagmamahal sa kanila. Maraming salamat din sa inyong pagpapaalala sa amin na 
patuloy naming patunayan ng aming pagmamahal sa inyo. At nakahanda kami sa anumang iutos ninyo, sa anumang misyon na gusto ninyong ibalikat namin. Nagpa, nag, dadalagin po kami, nagmamakawa po kami, Panginoon, na sana matigil na ang COVID-19 pandemic. Dumadami na naman po ang cases sa Pilipinas, pero din sa iba pang bahagi ng mundo. Pagalingin niyo po ang mga may sakit at protektahan po ninyo ang lahat ng inyong mga anak. Ang lahat ng inyong mga anak sa lahat ng mga bansa na huwag na po sanang ma-infeksyon ng COVID-19. We pray for our pastors and deaconesses and members and their families, our district superintendents and bishops, We pray for the Davao Episcopal Area, led by Bishop Rudy Juan, the Manila Episcopal Area, led by Bishop Seri Francisco, and the Baguio Episcopal Area. Lahat ang aming mga migrant churches, lahat ang aming mga overseas Filipino workers, lahat ang inyong mga tinatangkilik na inyong mga anak, lahat ang inyong nilikha sa buong mundo. Pagpalain niyo po sana, iligtas ninyo. Ingatan po ninyo, Panginoon. At ang inyong po ng Holy Spirit, ang siyang guwabay sa amin, sa aming patuloy na pagsamba at paglilingkod sa inyo. At pagbibigay sa inyo ng aming pinakamataas na papuri, pasasalamat, at pagsamba. Ang lahat ng itong aming dalangin, sa pangalan ng aming Panginoong Yesus na siya naming tanging tagapagligtas. Amen. And now, brothers and sisters, receive the blessings of God Almighty who revealed Himself to us as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, guiding us, redeeming, and saving us now and forevermore. Amen. journey with us through the final week of Jesus' life. Each day, you'll get to see where Jesus was on His road to the resurrection as you reflect on where He has brought you and the miracle He has done in your life and how He has worked in and through you. Ten lay people from Baguio Episcopal Area Community will deliver 
and share the message of our Lord Jesus Christ. Song offerings from talented individuals and families will certainly touch your hearts. Worship the humble King, Jesus Christ. You are welcome here.